And uh, we're also keeping an eye on the weather conditions because it's been really rainy, really wet out there, very windy. So let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Viegas to see what we're expecting. You know what, Aliana, this doesn't really come as a shock to me just because of that landslide threat we've been talking about over the last couple of days, right? The ground is just so saturated. And when it comes to those landslides happening right now in Whatcom County, we've already seen that this morning and Clallam County as well. So seeing some minor slides taking place again, the rain finally starting to clear up a little bit, but we're still seeing the remnants of all of that runoff water as well from the foothills up into the Cascades. Cold front just swept, uh, swept through, so we're still dealing with the higher wind speeds as well, but overall starting to calm down and we'll see everything starting to recede. But in the meantime, we still have significant flood warnings in place. You'll notice them highlighted in the darker colors from areas like Whatcom County, uh, Nooksack all the way to Skagit County. And the reason I have this kind of uh, bigger in font, Skagit County isn't supposed to crest the river there right around Mount Vernon until tomorrow morning. A big concern because it looks like we could see record breaking levels and we're already starting to see a lot of these rivers cresting and breaking those historic levels as of right now. And this is why we're having such a concern with those landslide threats and also just some flooding that are uh, that is taking place. Some of these are going to continue here through the middle of the week. So that runoff water, definitely a concern. Still seeing the snow melt taking place across parts of the foothills and even over uh, into the Cascades. Now, as we take a look, live Doppler radar showing that clearing as it all works its way towards the east, but some heavy rain in and out of our forecast here this evening, even tomorrow morning, still possible. So just be on the lookout for that. Take it easy and be vigilant, right? As we zoom in across parts of King down to Pierce County, definitely seeing that clearing, including parts of Kitsap County, really starting to see that clearing taking place around the convergence, so which is nice and also lots of sunshine. But that rain is get, definitely going to turn into snow. That's going to be our next concern tonight into tomorrow morning as the temperatures start to fall. We're talking about snow levels falling down around 2000 feet. And as the rain continues, especially when it comes to the flooding and all of that runoff water, we've been talking about this 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 morning, Brian was mentioning this, right? Six inches of just floodwaters enough to lose traction. You're not going to want to drive through six inches and you just don't want to drive through anything if you don't know because you don't know how deep it is, right? 12 inches deep that can definitely float a car away. And as we fast forward, there it is two feet, definitely seeing that exiting the area. So we don't want any more water uh, rescues, which have already been taking place this morning and something we've always and also noticed the wind speeds. Those have been cranking up. We're seeing sustained winds over in Whidbey Island up to 40 miles an hour. Power outages happening as of right now. And we're going to continue with this high wind warning in place across parts of the area with gusts currently nearing that 60 mile an hour mark over by Whidbey Island. Earlier today, I saw a wind gust of 61 mile per hour, uh, which makes sense. And now we're starting to see winds up to 40, at least close to that, right? Port Angeles, Seattle, 35 mile per hour wind gust Friday Harbor up to 38, 46 over in Hoquiam. That's where we also have a high wind warning in place. And the one of major concern that I'm watching out for Oak Harbor all the way into Everett, including parts of Skagit County in the lowlands here. This continues until seven o'clock this evening. It's because of that cold front that swept through. So the winds are now shifting out of the west. We're seeing those gusts up to around 60 miles per hour. We even exceeded that over by Whidbey Island earlier today. Now, as we move across parts of the lowlands from Kitsap all the way to King Pierce, Thurston County, we have this wind advisory in effect here uh, until four o'clock this evening, gusts up to around 50 miles miles per hour possible. We definitely felt that earlier this morning. That's going to continue as well as that cold front starts to clear out. And I know we're all starting to feel that cold front as the temperatures kind of peaked in the upper 60s earlier today. Now they're falling into the mid 50s. So we're talking about a 10 degree temperature drop for some of us as that cold front swept through. So tonight it is going to be chilly. We're still going to be dealing with those wind speeds here for the next couple of hours. Then everything will subside. However, we're still going to be watching out for the river flooding that's going to be concern. We talked about Skagit River kind of peaking and cresting tomorrow, and we'll have to watch out for that flooding here, Aliana, for the next couple of days.